And now it's time for today's guest. Rocco Despirito is a James Beard award-winning chef, number one New York Times best-selling author and healthy lifestyle crusader. As the chef of the recently relaunched Standard Grill restaurant at the Standard Highline Hotel, Rocco introduces a healthy and indulgent menu featuring organic, gluten-free, fresh, local, and seasonal ingredients. Here to tell us more is Rocco Despirito. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Well, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? How are nice you? to see you. Hi, What's going on? Nice welcome, to meet you. Nice Rocco. to meet you. What's going on? Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. So, you guys uh, are yucking it up here. Are you yeah, we are or something? We are. It's very funny. <laughs> I'm not, just FYI. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been, oh, I'll prove it very quickly. <laughs> you've been committed to healthy cooking for over a decade. Yeah. And what led you to sort of join the Standard Grill and bring that passion there? So I've been committed to healthy cooking for over a decade because I like to feel very lonely mm. okay. in my life because mm -hmm. no one wanted to join me on that crusade <laughs> 10, 15 years ago. But it seems like people are catching up. How, are you, how about you guys? Anybody? Healthy Don't cooking eat. for anyone? Healthy? Anyone? Two people? Wow, sorry, right. they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> Two people. Uh, and, and so the Standard Grill actually caught up with me. They uh, came to their 10-year anniversary and decided they want to do something sort of forward-thinking. Mm -hmm. And they thought bringing in a plant-based chef might, might help do that. Yeah. And so far, it's been, it's been great. I've been able to do gluten-free, dairy-free, organic, local, lots of plant-based foods. And um, it's a real gift because... It's very hard to pitch plant-based to restaurateurs. Yeah, yeah they but hear plant-based really and they see bankrupt. It. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. plant-based equals bankrupt. No money in the account is, is to most restaurateurs. So. Right, yeah. and um, you mentioned the uh, ten-year anniversary of the yes. Standard Grill. So yes. How so, did they celebrate that? So uh, they they had a year worth of festivities. They're always celebrating at the Standard Grill. I don't know if you've been to the Standard Highline at yeah. all, but yeah. they're basically celebrating 24 hours a day there. They have eight venues, two nightclubs, you know, restaurants. It's so far. It's nonstop. Everything. Yeah, the beer garden, nonstop celebration. So uh, part of what they did was just host a lot of events, and uh, and bringing me on to redo food and beverage was a big part of it. Yeah. That's really. Have funny. you been? You got to come. You got to come. Yes. I haven't been yeah. recently, but I so yeah. I during NYU I loved going there. Yeah. Like cool. I, cool. it's such a fun spot. Like you said, there's it's so. Still it's still so do. fun. Yeah. It's still so fun. Yeah, yeah, you go from the beer garden to Le Ban and yep. down for dinner and up for cocktails. I've done exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have footage. We have. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's I'm footage all over. I'm it. sure you do. Um, the menu, which I love, is like intersection of healthy and indulgent. I think that's always something I am searching for, someone who loves pastries and desserts and decadent stuff, but also I'm trying to be healthier. Um, can you talk about that, the process yeah. of creating a menu that balances all of that? First of all, thanks for noticing. It was, uh, it was absolutely intentional to find that perfect middle ground between you know, something you really want to eat and also something that's good for you. Mm -hmm. So what we first did was strip away the obvious bad allergens like gluten, dairy, and um, GMO foods, right? So we don't use any of that stuff except for two or three dishes. Uh, there's a pasta dish that I learned from my grandma that I can't do without gluten. So <laughs> other than that, yeah. Uh, and risotto, got to do with butter. And so maybe four exceptions, okay? <laughs> four exceptions. But there are but 40 things on the menu. She'd yeah. be very upset. If <laughs> she would probably come back and haunt me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be, so we understand. So, um, and uh, just building it from the local farmer's market availability. Right now, we're literally building off our farmer's market lists. They send us lists every day, and that's how we're building our dishes. Um, and uh, once you get rid of some of those big, mm -hmm. uh, bad behavior foods, like gluten, dairy, and uh, GMO foods, you're doing, already doing pretty well. Wow. Yeah. And you also um, not only helped with the menu, but also the decor, right? Yeah, so we redid uh, the room. We redid the waiter's uniforms, the, the dining room, uh, lighting scheme, the music, uh, tabletop, wow. china, glass, silver, all of that. Yeah, it took us about a year. Uh, and then we, we opened to the public last January. And cool thing is you guys can try it out, which would be nice. You, yeah. You're all invited. Oh, my oh, God. We'll, we'll, we'll be there. Yeah, yeah. We're big yeah. foodies. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So you did it. We have a great bar there, too, as you know. We we're know. big yeah. alcoholics, yeah, yeah. too. Right. Oh. So I have the footage, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it, you're, what's it like really being a part of, of something that's been around now for a while, but really part of a revamp? Yeah, so it's an it's an absolute institution, an right. icon of downtown, right? It's the nexus of downtown. Uh, so it felt like, you know, uh, stepping into some big shoes. Right. And I took it very seriously. I mean, we took a year to redo it. So we took it very seriously and worked with everyone there. And, uh, you know, luckily the um, the leadership of the Standard International is, is super forward thinking. Amar Lavani, the CEO, mm -hmm. is always trying to, you know, um, do things that are progressive and supportive of uh, his employee community as well as his customer community. So it was easy to sort of just follow their lead. Very cool. Yeah. And you mentioned that you started sort of on this healthy path before it was cool. What inspired that? <laughs> Is it cool yet? I mean, it's, we're I think still it's working on making cool. it cool. Yeah, it's yeah. cool on the West Coast yeah. and it's, cool it's getting cool here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, so p people in my age group are sort of like still f fighting with it, but you know, 30 and younger, almost everyone has yeah. you know, plant-based foods on the mind. Uh, 
uh, for me, it was just my declining health. You know, mm. a doctor telling me, hey, dude, got to, got to, got to shape up or yeah. things are going to go south real fast. So uh, that's all I needed to hear. And, and what uh, changes have you felt in, in changing your diet? So I started training for Ironman. Wow. Right after that, and uh, most of the changes were a lot, a lot of pain, mm. a lot more pain than I felt uh, usually. Because uh, training for Ironman means you have to swim, bike, run basically every day for a year to, to complete one. Oh, but that was horrible. that was eight years ago. I did my last one, so yeah. it's it is horrible. It is horrible. <laughs> but you cross that finish line and you feel such a sense of uh, gratification that yeah. you want to do it again. Um, and so that, of course, uh, you know, I went from 22% body fat to 11% body wow. fat, and uh, I was able to not only walk a mile but you know run 13 and after biking and swimming. So those changes are pretty amazing and tangible. And then the other changes are just more energy and, mm -hmm. you know, people accusing you of having plastic surgery, which mm. is always fun. <laughs> that's that's nice. always a huge compliment, that's, right? I, I wish when you get to that. my age, you're going to understand that that's a huge compliment. <laughs> you know, I'm 75, so right. it's cool to look oh yeah, only 50. And you said uh, you weren't funny. Uh, <laughs> I see, I, I'm still not, right? Uh, <laughs> Let me take a sip on that. Kid. <laughs> and you have an all-natural product line, so can you tell us more about sure. that and what you offer? Yeah, so uh, uh, protein bars, um, snack bars, uh, protein shakes, oh, um, flour, all-purpose flour. Um, all of it's organic and gluten-free, and uh, I actually brought a few. Oh, you guys yeah, want to try yeah. later? Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Raw vegan, right organic, here. chocolate, that kind of thing. Oh, I love protein yeah. bar. I need something healthier than what first time I'm eating right now. Cool, go on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just hand you, you just a bite. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I literally have 10 in, in the room in the back. Fair uh, yeah, but they're great because they're 30 grams of protein and uh, no, no bad stuff. No oh, bad stuff. Yeah. Awesome. No sugar to worry about. Yeah. And was it challenging for you to make this with all natural products and have it be organic? It's very challenging to try to make clean food, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Clean food is uh, sort of the enemy of the food industry, and everybody is pushing you to mm -hmm. conform. Uh, the big food companies, you know, there are basically three of them, and then the big pharma companies, basically three of those that control everything we eat. You're constantly fighting, up, mm -hmm. you know, swimming upstream against what they're putting into the market. So you have to go to Peru and all these places to find uh, natural, clean ingredients. So they're not easy to find. So it is a little bit challenging, but really, really worth it. And people really appreciate it. You know? Yeah. God, hearing that makes me want to eat cleaner food more. Yeah. Knowing how the industries are kind I know, of controlling the what man we eat. The man, right? the man. We hate the, the man here. The best protest is to eat healthy. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, you're disrupting so many of their markets if you eat healthy. It is, it is. <laughs> you're right. You should, you should get that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might yeah. make more sense for you to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, but what message do you want uh, your customers to know about eating fun plant-based foods that they may not realize? Yeah, that you don't have to give up indulgence and great flavor to, to live a healthy lifestyle. Um, that it's not one or the other. Um, and, you know, uh, if a, a chubby chef with a crooked spine can do a triathlon <laughs> and figure out how to do it, you guys can do that, too. I mean, I had everything sort of working against me in the, in the restaurant industry. You're constantly um, baited with, you mm -hmm. know, all the good foods and all the sweet stuff. And so if you can figure out how to avoid that stuff, you're, you, they can do it, too. Well, um, so, yeah. Oh, no, That's I'm just going to say thank you yeah. so much. You're and welcome, you're and welcome. we're all so excited to now leave here and eat clean. I yeah. feel thank inspired you. I and We're going to the stand. Yeah. Yeah. So, clean. Rocco, thank Protest. you so much for joining us. Cool, thank you. Everyone, make sure to head to the Standard Grill to try some of Rocco's delicious and healthy menu items. That's all from us. We'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same table. Woo!